Hello and welcome to Make a Drink. My name is Derek and today we're gonna to be making five champagne cocktails. Now most champagne cocktails, including the classics while delicious, are relatively basic. But the ones we're gonna to do today are a little more complex, a little more involved, and definitely more interesting. Now champagne cocktails can be enjoyed anytime, but they are especially great around the holidays, special occasions, or right now. Whatever day it is that you're watching this video, now is a great time for a champagne cocktail. Today, we'll be making the Seelbach cocktail, the Chatham cocktail, the Bitter French, the Juan Ho Royale, and the Rosy Cheeks. So that's a lot to do, so let's just jump into making the first cocktail right now. I'm gonna make all five cocktails and then we're gonna taste them at the end. We're gonna start with the Seelbach cocktail, which is a pre-prohibition drink from the Seelbach Bar in Louisville, Kentucky. For this one, you'll need Peychaud's bitters, Angostura bitters, Cointreau, bourbon, and of course, champagne, real champagne if you've got it. I happen to have some real champagne right here. I think it's real champagne. Yep, made in France. Um, spared no expense for you strangers of the internet. So let's get to our first cocktail. We're gonna build this one inside a mixing glass. Seven dashes of Peychaud's bitters. Seven dashes of Angostura bitters. half an ounce of Cointreau, one ounce of bourbon, we're gonna mix this on ice, strain into our coupe, and top with champagne. And there you have it, the Seal Bach cocktail. All right, next up we have the Chatham cocktail, which was created by Devin Tarby, and this was found in the Cocktail Codex book. For this one, we will need simple syrup, lemon juice, Grand Marnier, dry sherry, Coqui Americano, and a pinch of salt with some champagne. We're gonna build this one in our shaker. Quarter ounce of simple syrup. Half an ounce of lemon juice. Quarter ounce of Grand Marnier. Three quarter ounce of dry sherry. Three quarter ounce of Coqui Americano. Add a pinch of salt. Now we're gonna add some ice and shake. And strain this into our champagne flute. We're gonna to top this with champagne and garnish with a grapefruit or orange peel. And there you have it, the Chatham Cocktail. Next up, we're gonna do a drink called the Bitter French by Phil Ward, and this was found in the Death and Company book. For this one, you'll need simple syrup, lemon juice, Campari, and Plymouth gin. We'll start by building this one in our shaker with a half an ounce of simple syrup, half an ounce of lemon juice, quarter ounce of Campari, and one ounce of Plymouth gin. We're gonna shake this for 10 seconds. and strain it 
into our champagne flute. We're gonna to top this off with champagne. And garnish it with a grapefruit twist if you have it. I don't have it, so I'm just gonna use an orange twist. All right, next up we have the Juan Ho Royale. This was created by Martin Kate for Hula's, and this is found in the Smuggler's Cove book. For this one, you're gonna need lime juice, orgeat, blue curacao, velvet falernum, tequila blanco, and champagne. Build this one in your shaker with three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, half an ounce of orgeat, half an ounce of blue curacao, half an ounce of velvet falernum, and one and a half ounces of a tequila blanco. Add your ice and shake for 10 seconds. We're gonna start by pouring two ounces of champagne into our coupe. And then we're gonna pour in our drink from our shaker. And there you have it, the Wan Ho Royale. Last but not least is the Rosy Cheeks. This is from Jim Meehan from PDT. And I believe this was somehow created for Playboy Magazine. Just an FYI. For this one, you will need lemon juice, creme de cacao, slow gin, Irish whiskey, and of course, champagne. We're gonna build this one inside a mixing glass. Half an ounce of lemon juice, half an ounce of creme de cacao, Half an ounce of slow gin. Three quarter ounce of Irish whiskey. We're gonna fill a wine glass with one large ice cube. Pour in our drink. And top with champagne. And garnish with a lemon wheel if you've got one, or in this case, I don't have one. All right, there you have it, five champagne cocktails. I uh, haven't tried any of them yet, so we're gonna try them all right now, starting with the Seelbach. It's tasty. So this is the one with all the bitters in it. The story of this is back in 1917, pre-prohibition at the Seelbach Hotel, or hotel or bar, that a bartender um, put some champagne accidentally in an empty glass, uh, old-fashioned glass that someone at the bar was drinking. That's why you get all the bitters and the champagne. If you like bourbon, this is a great option. All right, next we'll do the Chatham cocktail. <laughs> At this point in time, I, I can't really remember what's in each one, except for champagne. It's really good. It's uh, This kind of tastes more like a regular, normal champagne cocktail that you're used to. Mm, I love this. It says a Coqui Americano. It has a sherry in there as well. So this is great for sipping on. It's lower ABV. We didn't put any hard spirits in here. You definitely get that bitterness from the cookie. All right, moving on to the bitter ward. Yeah, I'm drinking these side by side. This one's definitely less sweet. Uh, it's not overpoweringly bitter. It's a lot of bitter on the back end, and that's good. Even if you're not into Campari 
The Campari in here, it's, it's minimal. You can barely taste it. It just adds a little bit of bitterness. All right, moving on to the Wan Ho Royale, the blue one. Oh, it's sweet. It's definitely the sweetest one so far. You can definitely taste the tequila. And it's the kind of the first flavor. Uh, it's in the forefront of the drink. So the four so far, this one definitely has the least amount of that champagne flavor. Um, I don't know if I would have picked up that it has champagne in it, but it's really a tequila forward drink. Uh, I know Martin Kate has said in the book that it's one of the only times he used blue Curacao. Um, you know, it's blue. I don't know how blue it shows up, but it's very blue. All right, and last but not least, the rosy cheeks. Oh, wow. That is unique. So the first thing I get is chocolate. The recent episode I did of Brandy Alexander, and one of the things I noted was kind of missed the chocolate in that uh, the, the uh, Tempest Fugit has a definite vanilla forward flavor, but you really can tell the chocolate in this drink. Um, it's definitely like on the nose. I'm not really picking up the slow gin as much either. So if you don't have slow gin, there's really no substitute. You could put gin, but the slow gin is much sweeter. And I think it's made with, uh, well, it's made with slow, which I believe is some type of like um, prune type fruit. And all of these drinks can be found in these cocktail books that I'm showing you on the screen right now. These are all exceptional cocktail books if you're looking to build out a cocktail library. Each one of these was found in one of these books. Recipes and the link to the book are below in the episode's description. All right, if you enjoyed this one, uh, please feel free to uh, like the video below, leave us a comment about these drinks, or subscribe to the channel if you want to. Otherwise, we will see you on the next one. There's nothing like drinking a bunch of champagne cocktails alone.